Hey guys, Brendan in Productions here, and um, welcome to this tutorial. Now, this tutorial, um, I'm going to have to keep it short and sweet since I seem to have lost my partnership. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, I'm just going to uh, get started. And um, on my uh, on my uh, request video, I've actually been getting tons of requests asking about a web browser with tabs. Um, quick overview of your Trinity web browser showing us the code. And most people just want to know how to make a tabbed web browser. Now I'm pretty much going to tackle this in a uh, general sense because today I'm just going to be going over C types. Now C types are a totally different, uh, if you, uh, totally new type of coding if you haven't used it before. It's definitely unique and very useful if you want to do things like multi-tabbing uh, for your web browser. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with a new project which I have open here and uh, I'm going to use the very popular example of a multi-tabbed web browser so the first thing I'm going to add is a tab control uh, if I could just uh, find it, there it is and uh, by default it has two tab pages mm, you can leave those if you want but it doesn't matter and for this purpose we're going to also add a button now this button I'm going to give the text of new tab because that's uh, exactly what we're going to want it to do. We're going to want it to create a new tab. And uh, actually I'm going to delete each of these tabs here. So um, I'm going to go into the tab control one, go to tab pages, and uh, press remove on all the tab pages. So now there's no existing pages, but we're going to make one every time we press new tab. So for um, this tutorial's sake, we're not going to do real advanced tab uh, switching, but um, we are going to keep in mind that uh, we just want to create a new tab. So what we're going to do is say tab control one dot tabs or dot we'll figure this out pages collection. It's one of these tab pages dot add and we're going to add one uh, with the text of uh, now we don't want when we add it we do not want two repeating ones so what I'm going to do is actually public i as integer and uh, when the form loads i is going to equal uh, zero so I'm going to just go to the form load event and set i equals a zero so every time we add a new page we're just going to name it i and we're going to make sure we convert this to a string by typing i dot to string. Very easy stuff. And then we're going to increase the value of i by one. i equals plus one, so it just increases it by one every time we click this button. And um, also, we're going to create a web browser to put in each of these tabs. So we're going to say dim wb as new web browser. And then we're going to say wb dot doc in doc equals doc dot fill uh, it's given us a little error we can correct this by replacing doc with doc style uh, no big deal there and um, now we're going to add that by going to uh, tab control one dot tab pages oh. Oh, tab control one dot tab pages dot <coughs> Control uh, see now this is where it gets difficult. Um, see what well, we can't we since we created the tab page programmatic programmatically, uh, we cannot directly access the tab page from this tab control. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get sample code for if we did make this uh, if we did make this tab tab uh, non-programmatically. So we're going to do this by going to tab pages and actually adding a new tab. It's going to be called tab page one. And then when we click new tab, we're going to say tab control one dot tab pages dot tab dot um, item dot uh, 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 dot controls dot add wb okay so it's pretty much selecting the um, existing item which index is zero if we click on the uh, tab page here tab page one 
uh, the index okay it doesn't directly say it in properties but the index is zero since it's the only one existing so we're pretty much just adding uh, the web browser thing and we can show this by debug this and uh, clicking on new tab and uh, as you can see tab page one is white because uh, that is the web browser all the other pages are gray because it does not have a web browser so it does add the web browser to page uh, tab page one so what we want to do is actually use um, the selected page so first thing we're going to want to do is after we after we actually create the tab we're going to want to select it uh, so we can add something to the selected page so um, as we notice uh, I don't know if it worked last time but if we do keep on clicking new okay I doesn't really increase there we go I equals I plus one I don't know why the equals plus one didn't work but we just switch that over and now every time a new tab is created it will name it after the uh, after I so I'm going to go ahead and delete tab page one and um, now we're gonna start with this so once it creates the uh, page or once it creates the new tab we actually need to select it by saying tab control one dots uh, selected index equals um, and then we need to set it to I because every time we add a new tab the index starts with zero and keeps going up and so we named it so it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as well so um, in that way we can easily just keep track of things with I so we're just gonna select the one with the index that we've declared up here which is also uh, the text and uh, once we've selected it we can say tab control one dot selected tab dot controls dot add WB and um, there we go and then we increase the value of one and uh, once we debug it if we click on new tab we'll notice that every single tab is white because each one has a web browser in it now comes the hard part um, we're actually gonna add a new button to our project and this button is going to be uh, with the text browse and uh, what we want this browse to do is actually uh, go to google.com because that is one of the most common websites in a person's uh, repertoire if you will but the problem is, if we want to select this web browser and go to navigate, we cannot go tab control one dot selected tab dot web browser. It, it just doesn't exist because we added it programmatically. So what we need to do is actually use a C type, what is called a C type, which uh, all it does is grab the first available type from what you say. So what we want to do is. Uh, type C type and then we open parentheses and then it asks us for the object now in this case we want to edit what's ever in the selected tab and um, in this case it's going to be since the web browser was added first to the selected tab it's going to be the first control which is a index of zero and um, now all we need to say is what type is this object and obviously it's a web browser and now what that does is it's pretty much saying select the web browser that has an index of zero in the selected tabs controls so um, it's pretty much saying select it and do what with it now what we can do is type dot and it, now we have all these options for a web browser so we're just going to type dot navigate and then we're going to type our website google.com now if we test this out we'll actually make a bunch of new tabs and then we'll go to tab 3 and press browse and uh, as we notice only the web browser in tab 3 goes to browse or goes to google so this is a very easy way to make a multi-tabbed uh, program programmatically now there are several other things you can do with the C type as well you can also select other objects in each uh, in each thing by doing this you just have to remember what was added first because if it's added first then it uh, has an index of zero added sec second it has an index of one added third it has an index of two 
so on and so forth. So you just need to keep track of the indexes, which is really easy if you use the naming method of I. Now another thing you can do if you do not want to name it is you can say, um, no, we won't even go under that over that because that is a little too confusing for now because we just introduced C-type. So um, let me run over this code because I realized that I was being kind of uh, jumpy with uh, the way I was explaining this because I haven't really used C-types that much because I don't really make uh, multi-tabbed programs all that much. But uh, I'll go over this one more time. First thing we're doing is creating an uh, integer named i, and then when the form loads, we're setting it equal to zero. No big deal there. And then every time you press the new tab, we're making a new tab with the text of i, and we're making sure that it's a string, because text can only be in string. And then we're creating a new web browser and making sure that it actually fills the tab. And then we're saying select the uh, tab with the index of i. And since we started i out at zero, we can do this because uh, the text and the index will be the same. And then once it selects that, we're just telling it to add the web browser to that selected tab. Then we're telling it to increase i by one, just to make sure they increase as you press it. And then when you press the button, uh, the browse button, it actually grabs the first object that we added to um, the selected tab, the first control, as stated here, which happens to be a web browser, and then uh, we tell it that it is a web browser, and since it is a web browser, we can dot .navigate to google.com. Now, um, this is very easy, and um, you can do other things with this as well. So, for example, we will um, make this button button 3 a go button and then we will add a text box as well so we can actually type in the web address that we want to go to just to make that move real quick and then we can double click on the go button and simply type another c type uh, command so c type we're going to want to get the first object in the selected tab first control and then we're going to want to tell it that it is going to be a web browser so because of that we want to navigate to the text box text box is text um, we can also make it so there is a refresh button which is going to be right here while we are seriously running out of space in our form uh, that's short for refresh and then uh, we can do c type the tab control one dot selected tab dot controls dot item zero and we're telling it it's once again a web browser and then we're going to refresh the page. So pretty much anything you can do with web browser one dot, you can do with the C type of web browser. And now if we start debugging, everything should work on us. So we're going to create a new tab, and in tab two, we're going to go to writeinsoft.com. Go. And as you notice, it takes you right there. And uh, say, I don't know, it didn't load properly. So then you can press refresh, and uh, the page refreshes itself. So everything. Oh, excuse me, works perfectly. Now this can also be done if you have, let's say, a group box and you add items to a group box programmatically. But pretty much if you add controls to an item programmatically so you can have an indefinite number of controls, the C type is what you're going to want to use. So hopefully this will help you with your future projects and uh, maybe your future career in software development if that's where you're planning on going with this. Um, I really wanted to make this tutorial simply because it's very vital uh, if you're making useful applications. I'm not saying if you don't make... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> but, um, yes, this video will also be uploaded to The Digital Craft. You can check that out at thedigitalcraft.com. And, uh, yes, thank you for watching, and please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.